the boys of the 50s made the majors. But in the next generation, there was a left-handed pitcher from McKell High School who played many games at Central Park. And at age 19, Don Gullett made his major league debut with the Cincinnati Reds. The Red Scout who signed Don Gullett 40 years ago remembers seeing Gullett pitch at CP1. Actually, when I first, well, to start with, I had a tryout camp in Iron, Ohio, across the river, and he was in the eighth grade. And I had a bird dog guy, uh, you know, that helped round up players to get into my tryout camp. So he said, hey, he said, I know where there's a little uh, left-hander that can really throw. He said, he can really throw. But I said, the only thing is he's about 14 years old. And I said, if he throws like you said he can throw, bring him over. And I know uh, he come over and I said, now, uh, just take your time because you're not going to go through all these other drills. Uh, because I understand that you can throw as good as some of the guys in the big league. You know? So uh, I told him, I said, when this is over, with, I'm going to keep about uh, eight or ten, I don't remember what it was now, players and I want you to pitch to these players. So I, I kept, I think, with maybe nine. I'm not sure about that. So uh, every one of those were players like from Ohio University, college players. Ohio University, Marshall, uh, at the time it was Morris Harvey and, and uh, Charleston. And I said, now, get good and loose. And uh, when you get good and loose, well then, I'll, I just want you to pitch like we're playing a game. So he struck out the first six, and uh, and I said, hold it there, partner. I says, uh, you sure you're okay now? I says, uh, that's enough. I, I don't need you. He said, oh, I can get them next three out, too. Well, he struck them guys out, too. And I told him, I said, listen, I'll never come to see you play again until you're a senior. In 1984, an Ashland boy who played at CP1 was the number three first round pick in the Major League Draft. During my sophomore year in college, uh, the scouts started to show up and I, Steve Hamilton had a lot to do with that. He, he developed me as a pitcher and um, put me in situations to help me along with that. He would pair me up against Steve Engel, who was a pitcher that was getting scouted a lot, and it ended up getting drafted that year by the Cubs in the second round. And Steve would pair me against Steve on the weekends. Uh, I would pitch against him, and and generally win against uh, against Eastern. And so the scouts would come to watch Steve Engel pitch, and they'd get to see me pitch, and it sort of got me on the map. Uh, Gene Bennett started coming in to watch me throw and the Reds invited me to a tryout camp at Riverfront and Gene talked to me at that camp and told me that you know we would sign you right now to a contract except you're going to be a junior and that's when I started to have the idea that I might have the ability to pitch at a, at a higher level than college. So the next year came back and I had uh, just an outstanding year at Moorhead for Steve Hamilton again. and. Um, uh, ended up going nine and one. Um, they sent me to the Shenandoah Valley League uh, summer league team, and just had the game of my life. Uh, struck out 22, 22 batters in, in nine innings, and and that was maybe four or five days before the draft. And so that was my, you know, I pitched that one game that year in the Shenandoah Valley League, and uh, like I say, had the game of my life. And uh, the draft was a week later, and uh, Cubs picked me third.